Hey, what's up guys? This is Tan Tan here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a brand new figure to show you. This is the Studio Series Transformer 86 Deluxe Class Cup. And he's the sidekick, the advisor, the veteran, which whom support Hot Rod, then later on Rodimus Prime in the Transformer, the movie and upcoming continuities. So now let's get to the details of him. So here we have Cup in his Cybertronian vehicle mode. And Personally, I would think that he's a semi-truck because of the back part of him is kind of reminds me of a truck And so this is the vehicle mode and like I have always said about Transformer Cybertronian form they can do whatever they like and you cannot know because that is not a real vehicle But to me, this is a very nice looking vehicle. It got a lot of nice details a lot of, actually like a lot of them and in the lighter gray area section, as you can see over here, there are many panel lining opportunities if you're into panel lines. Or else, this will, or else this will still be keeping up. And of course, we've got a clear piece of windshield, but then it's covered in a metallic. It is top on a metallic blue paint silver piece. So that will be the chest. And I really enjoy that detail because it gives us the feel of consistency, but also highlighting it. And beneath it is a Autobot logo and to me this is very nicely printed and we still got some two more Autobot logos on the vehicle mode at this over here and I absolutely adore the way they put it over here so that it actually fit for the vehicle mode and then it separate when you transform into the robot mode and personally I enjoy this kind of details because if I'm, I enjoy the fact that like it needs to be that specific location to fit with the overall figures and I enjoyed it his wheel hover are unpainted and left with all black colors and you can see the pin there. And one downside is you flip it around and you, you will see the robot leg and arms stuck in together. So, but yeah, like I'm not gonna display him like that, you know. So the vehicle mode looks fantastic. And of course you can store his accessories onto the vehicle mode. So the accessories of him will be his blaster, which is in the unpainted color, a pale greenish, bluish onto the white. And of course, the other accessories is the Energon goodie box, or I think this is candy. This accessory features in the movie where he and Hot Rod meet a bunch of Alicorn, and he like, okay, let's give them some goodies. And I really enjoy this detail. I know that it is not totally screen accurate, as it, this should be pink, but to me, this is fine for deluxe class. And now, now I'll show you how to att attach all the accessories. So you see this tap over here, just tap the gun on this side and this side over here will tap in the Energon goodie box and to me that is okay, enough decent enough for weapon storage, I would expect nothing more from a deluxe class and enough for the vehicle mode, now let's get to size comparison. Size comparison wise in the vehicle mode, here we have Cup next to Studio Series Bumblebee and the Siege version of Mirage, as you can see they both are somewhat longer than Cup, but then Cup is like a little bit taller than both of them, so I think they still are fine in Deluxe class. I enjoy this show us the three Transformer design language. As for Bumblebee, he is the realistic version of the vehicle. As for Mirage, he is the Cybertronian slash realistic version of the vehicle. But with Cup here, completely 100% Cybertronian, and I find this really interesting. But then enough of the vehicle mode, let's get to the transformation of this figure. For the transformation, first, split this section out, okay, then come back around here and remove the arms from this holding tab. And now you can flip this section up and secure it via this joint of the tab over here. And about this section, bring it out, it's quite tight, then bring it out to this, to the back and also connect it via this tab over here, then repeat the same thing with the other side. And then at this point, you can open out this section up and hide in the wheels and flip out the feet. Okay. 
and around this section here. Take the whole thing out. And you can see his head. Then you can start swinging your whole lower body down. Open out this shoulder joint. And at this point, this is really nice. You can actually hide out the, all the wheels inside him, which is a really surprise. So, do that to hide all the wheels. Okay, then collapse this, and then you can lock the back onto him. It's quite tight in my copy, so I had to push it a little bit, and then collapse this section by this joint over here. Tap it in. It is quite hard to tap in as well. Then rotate it and just swing the arms upwards. And we are done. Finishing transforming cup from the vehicle mode to the robot mode, I got a really satisfying feel. Because of the engineering are smart and the result you got is also satisfying. You kept all the good parts from the vehicle mode and transfer them to the robot mode. And there's some point like the shoulder joint. It reminds me of masterpiece design. And I just love the way that you can hide all the wheels inside of him. So you result in a really neat and movie accurate bot. With a little backpack but that would be a problem for me. So now let's get to the details of this uh, mode. The first thing to say about Cup is that the face sculpt is really nice. It shows that this guy is an old bot. A veteran bot. The face of him looks really wise and old and with some a lot of experience. Comparing to the face with Hot Rod, as you can see the two different face. One is the old bot and one is the youngster. So I enjoy this face sculpt even though it's kind of too old for my taste because cut, I, I cut in the movie in my opinion is around the face of a 40 to 50 years old man. But this is to me is like more 60 to 70 but to me that is still fine. It still captures the spirit of the character itself. And I, as I have mentioned, this guy got a really nice panoramic opportunity within the white, the brighter part. And I really adore that details because those are the kind of panoramic I would, I would like to apply onto him. And then one more thing is that you see the orange part, they are painted on him, which is really nice. To me, this serves as brilliant highlight of the figures. So like, not too much, but just a little bit. That is enough for us to get the spirit of him. And the belt is also really nice. You got another layer of paint with the orange as the belt. And I enjoy that. And you got two holes over there. Unfortunately, you cannot plug the Energon goodies piece onto it. Because the tab is bigger than the slot. But anyway, coming down from the leg. As you can see, a really nice and neat leg with a lot of details. And I just love the way they use the hidden wheels as the highlight of the figures on the leg section. That is brilliant thinking and I enjoy that. Turning onto the back as a final. He got some hollow piece onto the waist, but to, in my taste that is fine. The backpack, I can live with that. Not too much of a problem. And anyway, that is about the figures and I enjoyed him. I enjoy him as a character and this figure is just bring him to another level. Because I would be honest with you guys, this is the first cup that I actually got. So I got uh, some really good impress. I don't know if you have any other figures of him, well, I will research later. But I don't think there's an MP version for Cup. So I think if they're gonna, gonna make an MP version, this will be the one that they're gonna base on, considering all the nice factors of him. One nice thing about Cup is that if you know this in the movie, his, his arms and legs can got taken out so, and they capture, recapture that by in this figure. So you actually can remove his arms and remove his leg. That is totally awesome. So instead of connecting through a mushroom joint, they are connected by a single piece. And of course, yes, uh, many people, you comment in my Hot Rod video about the tools on his right hand side. And I watch, we watch the movie and I noticed it's a fixing tool. So it's re replicate this, recreate the scene where Hot Rod, Hot Rod fix hook. And to me, that is a brilliant idea. So this is the size comparison between Alicorn, Hot Rod and Cup. And I must say, I love the, I love the scaling between them. 
the point I'm making here is that they look great next to another. The cup is a little bit taller than Hot Rod, but to me that is fine. And so here we have cup next to Studio Series Dropkick car version. So as you see, cup is still taller than Dropkick. And I think this explains the size a little bit that the Autobot in the old cartoon is actually quite taller than the OG, than the Marco Bay or the live action version. Accessory wise, like I said, he got his gun and it's simply by plugging onto his hand. That looks just as good. And another accessory is this, this Energon candy box. And this also is simply by plugging his hand. And this is interesting. This is a clear piece of plastic got painted in green colors. And to me that is perfectly fine. Although it's kind of weird having him holding his candy box like this. To me that is a no problem. So now let's get to articulation. We begin the articulation part with the head. Unfortunately, he cannot look up. That is a shame that he got a full rotation. And that is for the head. His shoulder joint can move out and do a swing. Really, really nice swing. And of course, that part is hardly to tap securely in, so you can count as a, as a joint as well. He got a bicep swivel. This is the bend of the elbow. And unfortunately, you don't have any wrist swivel. You just stick a, a, as a painted hand. You got a waist swivel. This guy's really tight, in my opinion. And this is a kick to the front and the kick to the back. And of course, you can do a full split. Uh, he got a thigh swivel. This is the bend at the knee. This is a 90 degree bend. And he got some toe movement. And you got an ankle pivot. Possibility on this guy is decent. As I, like I said, his, this could be enough for you to recreate many poses that you would want to display with this guy. And upon that, I mean like when you're designing a G1 Transformer, especially a Cybertronian version, you don't have to necessarily worry about the alternate mode because you can completely focus on the robot mode because you don't have to worry about that vibe of realistic city. But then again, with the Studio Series G1, I feel like they combine the, both, both the best aspect of both the Siege and the Studio Series combined together as like you got a great figures with great alternate mode and also a nice robot mode and to me that is perfect and because Cup is a really nice character so I think it's picture time but before that thanks for watching this video guys be sure to leave a like and comment in the section comment section below to let me know what you think of this guy and if you are new hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for upcoming videos and also follow me on Instagram, that is where I do most of my updates. And last but not least, if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee in the coffee link below. That helps me a lot with the cost of this figure. And that will be it for today guys. Ta-ta now.